All right, about to do a 2004 Ford. I'll show you the truck in a few minutes. It's got the after, or the, not the aftermarket, it's got the subwoofer package in it. So, being 04, this is old, but from my research, I know about the voltage problem. The amp, one of the few in existence, why Ford did it. Use more of a 5 volt, so if you try to put the remote from a deck, which is traditionally 12 volts, you'll get the lovely popping. So, um, to counter that, which is why I'm doing this video, in case there's people that are doing it like me, uh, instead of buying the $30 adapters, 20 there's different things you can do, step downs. Um, there's a simple cheap way to do it if you're a DIY guy so I just picked up a phone charger and if you look I didn't want to get the one amp because typically an amp draw or a, an amplifier will draw half an amp so I wanted to make sure this thing runs cool at all times so 2.1 amps which is pretty much a quick charger um, I'll be opening this up and then what I'll be doing is let's see if I can get it out of the package I'll be wiring it in line with the remote and here it is here so um, I'll be wiring it and taking it apart there'll be a board inside and I'll be soldering a negative which is usually these side pins and the positive so that'll be the 12 volt the this goes to the blue the remote on the harness so the blue and white will go here that'll turn this on and off the ground and then the positive here goes to the amp um, i'll show the amp kit a little bit later it has the rcas it has two blue wires we put those together and then those will connect here so when this turns on by the stereo it'll send the 5 volts from here to the amp that should eliminate the popping no need to buy the 20 or 30 dollar adapters these you can get for like 5 bucks um, pretty cheap so I'll show that process alright I'm back it was a lot quicker than I thought which these chargers are pretty cheap. I just took a little tiny screwdriver I put it in the end and twisted it cracked it open so take this apart and you'll see the leads I'm seeing them for the first time as well so obviously these two here go to this piece here and then this positive goes right there so I'm gonna there will be my remote from the stereo in. That will be the ground. That will also connect to the stereo ground. And then, what I'll probably do is bench test it and see. Uh, yeah, I don't even have to bench test it. The board's marked. Volt positive are the outside and ground's the inside. So it's that simple. So what I'll probably do is run a jumper from here to here. Uh, run them in parallel so it stays 5 volts and then I'll solder those two together just so I'm using both circuits for this so because that might be a total of 2 amps I don't know uh, combined who knows but I'll combine it but it's that simple that's all I'm going to do um, this should make it nice and clean there's nothing worse to me than either an alter alternator um, noise or the thump so this will help uh, stop that completely uh, that's simple and I'll get this on the bench and solder it okay so now just remembered to do the video uh, here's the amplifier add-on part for the kit 
has this plug, two remote wires, RCAs. So this will plug into that. And then this is the five volt input remote. So this is the factory harness. This ring tube is sitting on there. Take the remote wire from the factory harness. It's right here. I put it through here. Let me see if I can slide this off and so show you guys. I uh, jumped ahead. All right, here we go. Put power to it. Okay, there's the positive top one, negative is the bottom one. Those were the cigarette lighter plug. And then that one is the 5 volt. Where it's at? It's a big, big post there. So I tested it with the awesome present I got, uh, which is nice because I can bench test this positive negatives. And then I took my voltage meter. Um, when I output, that goes to the, the two blue wires here. So now I'm just going to shrink. I'm going to solder and then shrink wrap each individual and then it has a master this big one we'll go over all those so all right real quick we're doing the FD 3090 kit this is for the 2004 F-150 this has the double DIN or the single we're going to be running the single, so how it goes, I already got one side pushed in, but you need this plate first, the mounting bracket, plate, whatever, it's got the two holes in it. In these, they have the little angled pieces, and then the notch on the bottom. You know, it's a bad description, but I believe they're marked, yeah, marked. One says right, one says left. So, looking at it, that you're right and you're left. So, you take this, the pointed ends, there's two of them. They face up. All this bracket stuff faces out. So, all you do is, there's right here. Right back here, this is little, there's one there, one there. They slide into these right here. So, let's take it like that. Try to get, I need a freaking pot out here, but they just slide in, push it. You may hear a little pop. So, that's all you do, make sure it's snug. And they're good. See, so, yeah, I want to went in a little bit further. Just push it snug. Okay. So now you should have it looking like that. So then, for the pocket, you got to feed it through the back. The pocket has a beveled edge that faces up towards the stereo. Flat end faces down. So. This is the garage. So once you do that, th there's a little slot that right there, the oval slot will line up. Yeah, I think I can do this one hand. We'll try. Just like so. I think I got it. Maybe ish. Yeah. So there's a little oval slot. The screw goes in that little hole there. Let me try to do it with one hand. It's a terrible video. There it is there. So I'm just gonna start it. Get it there. And then I'll flip it over. Get the other one started. Should go in 
somehow. This is a pain to do it with one hand for sure. So, got it right there. Screw in screwdriver. Don't need to torque these down, just snug. If you hear a crack, you torque it down too much. It's pretty simple. Now, this is not a great video, but I keep seeing everybody using double dents, touch screens, androids, all that. Um, we're just going to use the, the Kenwood. So. It's a work truck, don't need movies and all the other crap. So that's how it looks right there. Of course the deck will slide in. Um, the deck you don't use the um, let's see if we can pull this off with one hand. I've done this enough times. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yep, there it goes. Okay, you don't need the basket, whatever you want to call this. This piece here is not needed. Um, the brackets right here and here, these holes, uh, they should line up with one of those holes. So, I'm going to attempt to mount that. I'm going to do it off camera, of course, because I'm not going to try to do that with one hand. So. That's pretty much how you put together the pocket piece right there so you can see it. I just wish I would have had just this picture on the internet. But the one guy that did a video on this did it so fast he didn't even show this part. It was like it went from just a stereo sitting in a huge hole all of a sudden it disappeared in here. For those of you that are making videos, for the love of God, don't even bother if you're going to go from one step of doing the harness with a deck already in it's kind of this it's a whole pointless video at that point just do it with the harness and stop there but if you're not going to at least show the bracket it's pretty much a waste of everybody's time including your own all right we're in the truck Pop this bottom one out. That. Self-explanatory on that. There'll be a plug on top, maybe yes. Just push the little tab in. Pull it out. This. You can take it and rotate it out of the way. Okay. This one, ABS, this little push button tab 
right here. Just push it in and slide it out. That's the one you have to do. Uh, be careful not to yank. I've seen people do it even on YouTube. Yank the too hard and yank that plug off is not a good idea. So this is uh, should be seven millimeter. Four bolts. Got one there. Seven, seven mil, seven mil, seven mil. Let me get these over here. My four bolts are out. Should pop right out. Get your antenna plug. Pull straight out. Kind of wiggle it. that and you have your two other plugs uh, let's see just push down on this tab right here pull push down pull push down pull So there's three that came out the deck. We're gonna use two of them. Cuts like that. Push it until it clicks. And then there's a subwoofer in this vehicle, so this is a subwoofer plug right here, small one, it's got a groove in it, that plastic groove right there, it has a groove right there for it, so you know. and now that I got this done, um, I gotta hook up the deck temporarily just to test it and then um, I need to, I'm going to connect and test the deck. There's enough gap, get it in there, peel this back with your hand. And once you get in here, just lightly pull and it'll sink down, come across. Come all the way down. This piece here, it just pops out. So you can grab it from like right here and just pull on it. Pop it all out, run the wire through there, and just pop this back in. Just run the wire across as a harness, all down here. All I do is just wrap it, wrap it. And then back under here, it goes up, and right there, and that's where it'll plug into the radio. Okay, on this bracket, I had to break off all the tabs, except for that screw tab and that one same thing on the other side there's three actually the very bottom one screw tab and screw tab this bottom one is has a little notch in it that goes in that little hole right down there all these other tabs you got to break off the face one I showed in the earlier in the video was wrong this is the one you need with the little peg at the bottom. Assembly's the same. I'll show you this other one. This is the one I had originally on it. It's different. It's the wrong mounting style. This is with the screws at the bottom. So 
it's not this one this one doesn't work for the Fords that have the bolts here and then the, the little round hole down here so same assembly um, everything's wired up zip tied up secure uh, extra mic cord right there uh, from previous experience I'd recommend zip tying the harness to the other harnesses the least amount of movement the better this is a truck so it's gonna have a lot more vibration from suspension so, and let's just kind of get it in there slide it back and should line right up with the holes yeah. just like that just got to put the four screws in just the uh, factory ones. See how they work. I think they'll do good. Snug, it's plastic. You torque it, it's gonna break. So Let's see if I can do this here. sure in the future this deck's going to come out back out this deck will probably come back out so we can eliminate the roadmap features we'll probably get a deck that has all that so we can eliminate this road map road mate we'll eliminate that and have it all in one Okay, that's secure. Just gotta take this back here. Gotta plug, see if I can do it with one hand. It's gonna be kind of a pain. I'll set it down here. The new dash looks like probably a five pound weight reduction. But after working with the EQ, all that, you know, getting a single disc, but you get Bluetooth, everything, all the options, charging ports, auxiliary ports getting more in this little tiny deck than this big monstrosity it weighs like five pounds a little cell phone slot we always like those should be good to go oh, let me uh, turn the key on you know, saw that 
5 volt step down which was the USB charger no thump worked perfect so there it is there this is uh, how you do the Ford it's all said and done next video on this truck will probably be a full double den deck with the nav